Hi, this is Mark News from Plant Talk Radio. Thanks for subscribing and listening to our podcast, Your Gardening Questions from Plant Talk Radio. To help keep this podcast free, we're partnering with Stoke Seeds. Pre-plan your indoor seed starting program with the help of Stoke's 2017 Gardening Guide and their online articles. Whether you're adding texture through foliage, choosing a new variety for a splash of color, developing an existing garden, or starting from scratch, Stoke Seeds has some great catalog and online resources to help you through the process. Enjoy gardening tips and gardening trend forecasting from their garden writers and favorite chef. More than just a listing of vegetable and flower seeds, the Stoke Seeds website is a complete resource center with valuable information on seed starting, planting, harvesting, plus all the gardening accessories you need to make your garden the envy of the neighborhood. Get growing with Stokes. We'll have more to come from Stoke Seeds in the next few weeks. For now, today's gardening question. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Yeah, well, it's it's interesting because yep. we did get an email this week uh, at planttalkradio.com. Just go to the uh, website and click on the Ask Fred button, or you can email Fred directly. It's fred at planttalkradio.com. And it was from Bob, and he says, Fred, here's something you can add to your what's in color list. The winter's been so mild, I had a daffodil pop up and bloom last week. Ha! Now, that's, <laughs> that, that must be an old cluster of plants with one really hardy, <laughs> hardy yeah. memory. I mean, mine are up, but there's yeah. there's nothing blooming. Right, mine are only up two, three inches yeah. right now, and that's I guess I would call that common. But to have one up and in bloom, uh, I hope he took a dated picture <laughs> of that <laughs> yes. as just a matter of fun. And then Bob, uh, kind of hang on to that notion, and next year, come February one. Be checking to see if it comes up again, depending on the circumstances. It would be nice to know of of a plant that is that hardy, and uh, on rare rare occasion, somebody finds something like that, and then it becomes, um, let's just say, part of their financial background when they do the right things with it. I tell you what, Fred, to heck with the groundhog. Let's just go ahead and start spring now. I think we should. Yeah, I'm ready. I really think Absolutely. we should. Yes. But, but that does bring up a, a, an interesting topic. Mm-hmm. Uh, lots of people always ask you this question this time of year. Oh, my gosh, my bulbs are coming up. What, what's going to happen when it freezes? Well, the answer is really kind of nothing. That's right. Not, <laughs> not really. Now, there will be the occasion where it gets deeply raw temperature, and the, the tops that are up two, three inches, whatever, can burn. Now, by that meaning that the sun uh, with no no – well, no snow cover, whatever, uh, the sun can burn that tip. However, uh, even though it might spoil the tip of the foliage, the flower bud, usually, <laughs> except for Bob's, is usually still down in the ground deep enough that it won't be harmed. So, uh, you know, there's just nothing. Now, if you had a favorite clump, something you wanted to guard, some of the what I call little bulbs and so on, you could put some mulch up over them very lightly, straw very lightly don't pack anything down because all you're trying to do is slow down the change of temperature you can't change the whole you know the whole degree thing but um i'd say by and large just enjoy the green that you see Hey, thanks again for listening to the podcast. Remember, you can pre-plan your indoor seed starting program with the help of Stokes Gardening Guide and their online articles. For the best selection of vegetable, flower, and herb seeds available, go to stokeseeds.com. Cultivating successful growers for generations. Circle270media.com.